No. Good morning, team. Vlog miss day it's starting today. one. Are we morning people? He's gonna suck. Are you a morning person? No. Me neither. And it's um, what is it? This is Friday. Best. It's Friday, so that's like the good thing. Come on, let's go. So, I really wanted to start this first Vlogmas nice, like me waking up in the morning, but I, and you know, having extra time so I can sit down and have my breakfast, I'm doing this all one-handed by the way, um, but I, I swear to God, those people online make it seem like it's real life. I was like, no. I sleep late. So, so this is what I do. I get his lunch ready in the morning. Um, it's Friday, so normally um, they have pizza. So all I have to do is stop at the bodega, aka the store, and get him something to drink. I'm not showing you my mess in the cabinet, so... So, this is a little free little lunch box. And then this goes in his book bag. And then I'm going to walk him to his school. And stop in the bodega and get him something to drink. Are you ready, sir? Okie dokes. Oh, great. I have to take out the trash. I normally do, though. Hi, Chiba. So great. Bye. Close the door behind us, please, too. Close the door behind us, please, Eric. Oh. Put that right there. Still have my pajamas on. And the only good thing is that Eric's school is like... Like... What are they? Two minutes away? Right, Eric? Yeah, around two minutes. Why is this thing so zoomed in? Jeez. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we're walking, we're walking, and then. This is like, I don't know. People think, like, I was just saying that to, like, I saw a meme. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the plane. Um, oh, look at us, look at us. Shadow. Shadow dance. Um, how you say, like, um, there's people that come to New York and think, like, Oh, this is so fun. Yo. We works. We do regular stuff. Hi, right, Eric. Yep. Yeah. New York is. What? It's a New York is super busy. The fun places, like where people like, are not busy in your heads and you just have so much fun. You're probably Vegas. Florida and uh, maybe New Jersey. What fun places? Yeah, where they don't. They are not busy. Like, like, New York is a fun place. It's just like. Look, you see? This is why I can't vlog. My finger's in the thing. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'm still half asleep. So 
Oh, he's gonna stop at the bodega now, which is right there. All right, give me. It's in there. Okay. Hmm? Mm. I wish it was Friday and I was going to school and have pizza for lunch. It's not bad today. Okay, so I guess they close the door. Mm -hmm. And I'm back home. Real quick. I gotta get ready for work. Oh God, I suck at this. Hopefully with the time I get better because my editing skills are not there, there either. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna hop in the bathroom, take a shower, brush my teeth, the whole nine yards, and then start my breakfast. Before I do that, before I hop in the shower, I'm going to put my milk here for my coffee and some sausage back there. I forgot to take out the sausage. Uh, okay, so let me get my cute outfit mug. Add some 2% milk. Because if I don't do it like this, then I put too much milk. Come this way and you get the zakicha. What do you guys like having for breakfast? I like eggs. I'm never gonna get tired of eggs. And this is the banquet brown and serve original. gonna take a few minutes so I'll give me enough time to take a shower real quick and get ready and I took my clothes out last night to make things go smoothly in the morning so yeah I'll be right back guys some non-stick spray there's about like four egg whites and a little bit of cheese in here come out come out Some people put their salt and pepper like after it's cooked. If I don't put a little bit now, I'm gonna forget. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Just keep stirring. And I don't have any bread. <clears throat> the house, my husband told me too. He's like, why didn't you get any bread? You know, as Dominicans, we eat bread. Or anybody. Well, I'm going to eat this, just the eggs here, with the sausage, and my coffee. And I might grab a bagel when I get to work. Because their bagels are more or less. And every year... You know, with your with your tax refund, I always say I'm gonna get myself a whole new set of pots and pans, and I never do. And I've been working for like 15, 16 years. Like I've been doing taxes, I think. 
I need to still get my life together in my 30s. So don't get discouraged if you don't have your life together as of yet. Some people it's easier. Some people, it, you know, just let it. It will happen when it's supposed to happen. That's how I feel like now. Like it, I don't have to be rushing. It's like, who, who am I impressing? I'm not impressing anybody. Things will happen when I want them to happen and when they're supposed to happen for me, you know? Over here arguing. Like, you should have done this years ago. Why didn't you? No, it wasn't my time. Like, relax. Well, well Fulanita did it at this age. Okay, great for her. That's how I see things. Like, calm down. So I can't wait to eat this. I will show you the plate once it's done. Let me show you how I do my coffee. Um, so I have the instant bustelo. You need to get on that because it's delicious. I pour it in a decent amount, and then that's me blowing back that. Skin. I don't know if like people like oh it doesn't matter I don't like that what is it that skin that develops let me see if I can show you see that little skin thing I hate it oh my god it's so disgusting I usually sift this but I'm trying to do this by one handed get out of here I don't want you in my coffee so ever since we've got ex the instant Bustelo, it's been life changing. My husband says, you put too much sugar in your coffee. That's another thing I need to stop. <laughs> but I can't, I love sugar. If he sees this, he's gonna kill me. I'll be like, that's enough. I'll taste it. Sometimes I put two, two and a half. I don't know, I just like something sweet in the morning. So yeah, that's how I do my coffee. So I'm gonna go sit at the table real quick and eat this because I'm seriously running really late. Like I need to try to fix that, but I guess it didn't happen day one, so yeah. I'm back. So this is the finished product. So I'm gonna sit here at the table. Egg whites, you need to get on the tomatoes and avocado in the morning, it's really delicious. So I'm gonna eat this and head out the door and go to work. Um, when I sit down, if I have time to sit down, I be on YouTube and watching videos while I eat. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Enjoy guys. This is what she likes me to do. I'm sitting here in the couch. Um, Spanish people call it un viento. So I feel like I have a knot in my back. And I'm here thinking like, gosh, man. I'm like, I'm like, for the vlog, miss, I should go to work. For the vlog. But if it was up to me, I'll stay. Because. I don't know. Don't mind the freaking mess. I have, she's gonna be three. I have a three year old and she has all her pepper pig stuff on the floor. Little fees. Like, and if I stop, she's like, um, keep doing it. Oh, she's like, what? Mom, mom, come on. Okay. Yeah, that feels good. Mm hmm. Watch, watch, I'm gonna do it again. Wait, hello? Oh, okay. Like my husband will say, she's so needy. And I ate my breakfast and I'm clothed. I just need to run a comb through my hair, a brush through my hair or whatever, and put my shoes on. 
oh, I'm so damn tired. And this is why I want to lose weight because it's like, I know it has to do with the weight too. But how am I supposed to? I can make up a, a bunch of excuses, but I I believe that like the last year, I've um I'm at biggest weight because um I haven't get I haven't gotten a proper night's sleep and I've tried everything under the, under the moon and I was telling my husband last night I'm like I need that lady from Super Nanny that show because I'm running out of ideas it's like I've tried to be persistent on like a nighttime routine and that'll probably work like for a week and it's like when she was a baby it was so easy it was like easier I will give her a bath I will give her her bottle I will give her a little massage and just wrap her up like a burrito and she would knock out but like from one one year old or one and a half year old and on and she's gonna be three lordy lord the opposite of Eric so you cannot compare two kids like they're both different and I had them like seven years apart so I should have listened to other people when it came to oh you should have had them like back to back but a lot of stuff happened when Eric was four so I couldn't be thinking oh let me bring another baby into this situation I had to get myself settled and a place to stay and all that and then Emilia happened which I'm very happy about I'm not complaining about having kids I always wanted kids but it's just tougher especially when they're this young and they don't let me sleep and I could get into that like later on if you want um, after I post this I can let you know what the situation is with that but yeah Mimi they get Mimi I always do that do you call your your pets by your kids name like I just did that right now I'm like Mimi that's my daughter's nickname this is Shiba Shiba hi hi is it don't stop mom god Hey Leo, I wanna, I wanna stay, but then my check is gonna be sh really, really short. Ay, this meal. Let me get up. It's a little bit five minutes of me sitting here, debating. I'm gonna insert um, a little Kim Kardashian meme. That is on my Instagram, and I swear to God, I do this every day. So let me get ready. Let me get. Let me get up, Shiba. Can't be rubbing you, Shiba. Shiba. What's that? What was that? She hears everything. <sighs> let me. Let me get up. Jesus. Hi guys. Um <clears throat> so yeah, like I'm sitting on the couch and I've noticed that I don't have enough space to record. So I just started like deleting stuff that I don't need, photos, videos, and it did bump up a little bit more space. And those five minutes of sitting turned into like twenty. I literally fell asleep four hours ago and I like I said before I have something in my back and I'm also feeling sick since yesterday well for this whole week I've been sick like trying to battle it off or whatever so um not the very productive first vlogmas video that I wanted to do but I promise that this is probably like the only day I'm gonna take off because I can't be taking off of work like this. Because basically I need my, what people say, my, my coins. So I might just go back to sleep. I know I just ate, 
that doesn't really bother me um and we'll see what I do for the rest of the day then so we'll see you later uh, say hi yeah, this is why I didn't go. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no. Sucks. Oh, gee. And he's over there. That my butt? I don't even know. Right there. Oh, jeez. Uh, I bought this machine and a lot less. Oh my god, this is like a lifesaver. I was gonna do that for a while and then hopefully I could go outside for a little bit. Say bye, Eric. See you in a little bit. Bye, guys. So I went here to return something, but I needed a card, so I didn't have a card. I went to Aldi, I'll show you when I get home, my haul, and I'm walking on the highway, and look how nice they have the buildings with the lights. Look how freaking nice. I'm like, oh. So I'm walking back home, it's like about half a mile, so yeah. So I'll show you um, the haul when I get home. See ya. So as promised, let me give you the little haul from Aldi. So I bought this orange juice. It says that it's never from concentrate, pulp free, 100% juice. So let's see how this tastes. Because normally we buy Tropicana. I bought their popcorn, lightly salted popcorn. I bought this busted up can of dog food for my dog I got this shells and white cheddar for my daughter see if she likes that and I got this for my back it says pain reliever so yeah I was like oh perfect because I need this because my back hurts got some Pringles for my son and the syrup also I like it from Aldi you get the light version this tastes pretty good compared to um uh, I say Angie Maima that's how the Dominicans say so compared to this one let me go get it oh here it is compared to this one it tastes pretty good I don't know we get the light version cuz I guess the taste so it's well it's so, so it's not that thick or whatever but this one tastes pretty good I tried other ones and you could taste like the Splenda or whatever it is that they, they, they get. So yeah, I'll save this bag. And then from Babies R Us slash Toys R Us. I bought a pack of wipes for my daughter. And then I got about four Play-Dohs. This is her Play-Doh. Again, all one-handed. I'm sorry. So in... Babies R Us slash Toys R Us is buy one, get one, 40% off. So she's playing with the blue one. So I put four. So she could play with that because now she's into this Play-Doh thing. So yeah. So this is our very first advent calendar chocolate. So I got one for the kids. Woo! 
So you gotta look for the number one and you gotta eat the chocolate. Okay, Mimi. So take the plastic off. Open. Eric, open it. Okay. Open. Mickey Mouse. Open, open. I'm helping Mimi. Okay, Mimi, look for the number one. Where's number one? Where's number one? She has pants on. Okay, look for number one. Let's see. Number one. Number one. Here it is. So you gotta go like this, Mimi. Hold on, Eric. Open. What's in there? The chocolate. Can you have to pop it out from the back? There you go. Yummy. Number one. Eric, you're number one? Yep. Where is it? Right here. Ooh. Here, Eric. It's good? Here, Eric. Oh, it's like a little wreath. That's it. It's good? Okay, tomorrow we do number two, okay? Say bye-bye. Bye, guys. Say bye, Mimi. Bye. I want to end the vlog here. I'm sweating. I just got in. I want to end the vlog here because my back still kind of hurts. Um, all I'm going to do is probably clean up a little bit, but tomorrow's another day, so... I hope you guys enjoy my first vlog and vlogmas 2017. Bye.